Greetings, starseeds and lightworkers. Ava here, and today we have an excellent question that I know is going to really resonate with a lot of you here around purpose. And I know some of you may think, well, I kind of know what I'm here for, and others you're like, I have no clue, and I feel like it's changing. And the question here I just feel is, is going to bring some clarity no matter where you're at on your journey of knowing what you're here for and actually fulfilling your mission here on Earth and really getting clarity on how best to go about doing that. So if you're not, if you're new here, welcome. I am a trance channel for the Pleiadians and every Monday here we answer questions from viewers like you. And today's question comes from Beth and she asks, how can I know my role here on earth? I feel deep down I'm here for more, but I don't know what that is. Can you help point me in the right direction? Thank you, Beth, for your awesome question. We are going to go ahead and get this answered by Diana, my Pleiadian guide here, who is so hilarious. For those of you who are new, I can't wait for you to meet her. And I'm going to go ahead and go right out and put you in touch with the Pleiadians. Here we go. <clears throat> This is the Ina of the Pleiadian family. You see, we are here to bring the love. You see, we love to say this first and foremost for all the newbies in particular. You see, you are in the frequency of the love. You are in the frequency of the Pleiadians. You are in good hands, you see, with all of your your humanness, you see, all of your human questions. You see, we've been helping our planet Earth for a very, very, very long time, you see, and we are here guiding and supporting whenever you need a little nudge, nudge, you see, to get you going in the right direction. You see, most of you are doing a great job being the humans, you see very hard job you see especially right now on the planet to be in the human form so we are very very grateful job well done you see a Diana, all of us over here we have the easy jobs you see we just pop in and out you see just a little bit dabble dabble here and there to help out when we need to but then we like oh well that was a hard day you see being in that body there even for 20 minutes you see giving you guys a little bit of help you see so we are just going to stand up right here on the sidelines eat the popcorn and watch you to all do do a very good job of doing the job you see and so a lot of you are wondering what exactly is this job Diana? this is a very hard mission you see this is not what i signed up for i'm pretty sure in the contract there was a lot more that we mm, did not get this to get discussed because there were some things maybe some fine print at the very bottom with that we did not read or that got eliminated or that there was just a new version altogether but i got that they got tricked into signing in my sleep or something like this you're all wondering what happened where are we? What is what is really going on here? How am I supposed to be showing up here? What is my job here? What is my dharma? What is my role? What is my purpose here on this earth? Some of you are like, well, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be doing this, this, this or this. And I'm pretty sure I'm doing an okay job at it. So why am I really here listening to this crazy Pleiadian? Others of you are like, please, Diana, tell me all the things. Tell me exactly what I need to be doing because I have no clue. You see, so let's get it all together here. You see, there is no job to do. Ha ha. We are done here. We are a job well done here. No more, no jobs. You see, we are kidding and not kidding at the same time. There is nothing to do. You see, you are here to be. I know this sounds very simplistic, but listen here. Listen with the listening ears. You see. Your job, especially you light workers here, or the star seeds, those of you who are here for what you consider quote unquote more, as was in the question, you hear you're here for more. You know there is more to this life. What is it? What am I really here for? You see, you can go around doing, doing, being, being, serving, serving, getting this training, that certification, this thing, doing this job, all these things. And for some of you, this will feel fulfilling because it is mm, something you are good at, something that brings you joy, something that brings you inspiration. We're not saying don't do these things. This is this is the ways that we move through the world that brings more frequency of light and love and joy because it is a mm, high frequency. So continue to do, you see, in the ways that feel joyful. If it does not feel joyful, maybe do a rewrite, you see, and find the things that's actually going to bring joy, even if it's simple things, you see. Find the joy in the simplicity because the actual job you're here to do is bare feet on the earth, being in your form. Because mm, specifically the Pleiadian mission, also some of the other extraterrestrial missions is uh, co connected to this, you see, of helping the planet in the ascension process. We have strategically embodied through, through specific humans, through specific animals, through specific plants, 
through specific rocks. You see through specific areas around the planet to help bring in a specific frequency that is going to make the process of ascension easier on all of you. You see, because we've done it before. The Pleiadians went through this. So we are here to help you do it too, you see. So we're doing it in a way that can be a little bit gentle, gentle on everyone. So you're here, your frequency is what is the most important thing. Being an open channel, being open vessel. We're not saying you're going to be bringing in Diana through your form. That is not what we're saying when we say being open channel. What we're saying is to activate your light body in the most pro profound way possible for yourself. Be the highest frequency. Be the high vibe, you see, of the love and the light. Very, very simplistic. Very, very new age. Very, very cliche. We know all these things. But it is really the truth, you see. It is really the truth. So it is really as simple as really getting into the form and making sure that you are staying connected with the earth. This is the key piece, you see. So bare feet on the earth, you see. Even on the cold days, do your best, you see. Because that is creating a circuitry with the earth that is allowing the frequency then to uh, expand. And also you are being an anchor point for telepathic communication amongst the other extraterrestrials, you see. Through your own free will, you see, you are choosing that participation. You see, it is not a hijack or a takeover by any means, you see. But what we're saying is that a lot of you come here for this mission, you see. So you are being a part of this, this, this upgrade process simply by holding the frequency of the high vibration of the higher dimensional frequencies of the 5D reality. You see, you are holding the embodiment of the awareness of these multidimensionalities, you see. So the more in tune you can become of your own multidimensionality and your own being this, that is the best job you can do on the planet, period, end of story. So being aware of your multidimensionality, know thyself, you see, this is really the job, know thyself. At the depths of the nothing, at the expansion of the something, you see, both ways, you see, know thyself. Because the more you know yourself, who you truly are, the more powerful of an anchor point you become, the more powerful of an experience you have, the more powerful, the more light force, the more, 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 more and more capacity you have to not only hold the frequencies coming onto the planet, but to emanate those frequencies out and help and be of service. This is the deepest service you can really truly be in, you see. And in that, there can still be doing. You can still be showing up in different ways that feel inspiring, that feel joyful, that feel loving, that feel of service, that feel like mm, this would be fun for me, you see. You see, and that create mm, a way of sustaining your frequency, you see. So you're not getting burnt out. You're not depleting yourself in your resources or your finances or your time or your energy. Everything is flowing in the balance, you see. So we're looking at all the pieces and really finding a way that it can be done in a simple way, you see. So for some of you, this may mean be getting a very simple job, you see, something that just takes care of the finances so that you can really focus on being in the, in the, in, in the conscious awareness of who you are, you see, and for spending more time there. Others of you have a little bit more of a handle on it and you're in, in a different phase where you're, you're able to be in more and more service, you see, and so you're doing in those kind of ways. And what we'll say is to follow the joy and follow the inspiration, you see, that is really the point. And if you are not feeling inspired, well, that is the first thing, you see, to find ways that inspire you, find things that actually light you up, bring you joy, get you excited about the life so that you can then receive the downloads, receive the inspiration, receive the guidance from your higher self, from your guides, you see. And that will begin the circuitry in a good way because then you'll be having the listening ears and you'll be able to hear more and more about where to be at what moment to help in the exact right way for the exact right in-breath and out-breath of creation that we're all experiencing together. Isn't this fascinating? So it is meant to be fun. It is meant to be lighthearted. It is meant to be joyful. It is meant to be an uplifting experience for everyone. So if it is not feeling that way for you, then shift it. It is your power to do so. It is no one else's responsibility or job to, to make you happy. You see, it is your job to understand the reasons why you are not experiencing joy in this moment and why you are not experiencing the, the, the depth of who you are. You see, that is up to you to really mm, get curious about 
and get excited about, you see. So find it within yourself to work on those pieces within yourself, to experience the expansion within yourself, and watch the beauty and the magic that unfolds from that place, you see, because it is really inspiring. It is really beautiful, you see. So that is really the, the purpose, is to be. It is not so much focusing on the doing and making sure that you're doing the mission. It is more about can you be the mission? Can you be the experience of yourself can you know thyself that is what you come for to know thyself and to play in the world of consciousness in a new way a way that maybe you are not your fractal is not experiencing before so it is simply contributing a specific frequency to the whole that is impacting everyone around you as well so you are you are putting a note into the the harmonics of the the orchestra at play of, of creation right now so making sure you really hear your note and that you are really playing it as loudly as possible, unless your job is to play it quietly. You see, knowing your role, knowing what you are here for, knowing what that expression looks like, feels like, smells like, tastes like, and sounds like. Knowing yourself that deeply, that intimately, that you can play with it all in the ways that you can be with the highs and the lows, that you can be with the expansion and the contraction, that you can not judge any of it, but be with it and move with it and flow with it in a way that does not have to make sense of it all, but that can just breathe with it all. So that is the lesson for today. The Pleiadians send you all the joy, all the love, all the lightheartedness so that you can move through your day with less seriousness. You see, don't not to take it so seriously. Be in the joy of it all. Be in the play of it all. And, and that will allow you to move through in a much more effervescent and joyful way. Blessings from the Pleiadian family. <clears throat> I trust that message was exactly what you needed to hear. And please share this with your friends. If you have a question you would love answered by Diana, you can just put it in the chat below. You can hit me up on all the platforms and you can also go over to the website uh, avaora.com. And if you'd like a reading, a private reading with Diana, you can get more information about that over on the website as well. And I hope that you enjoyed this. Hopefully we'll see you here next Monday as well. And blessings to you. I'm so grateful for you. And we'll see you soon. Bye for now.